airport is the largest airport in the United States and second largest in the world. It covers 53 square miles, and in this diagram you can see it compared to major cities like Manhattan, San Francisco, and Miami. However extraordinary, this notoriously bizarre airport is shrouded in secrecy, riddled with weird statues and creepy art, and abounding in myths. Until this day, the Denver International Airport remains a mystery as many conspiracy theories surround it. Start. You see anything odd in this picture? Just, this is an aerial view of the Denver Airport with its six runways. The six runways seem to form a swastika with some people, which is one conspiracy that surrounds it, and they link it to like a new world order and a, the next mass genocide. So to start, uh, we'll do the construction. The Denver Airport was to be completed by November of 1993. However, it ran 16 months behind schedule and was not completed until February 28, 1995. It also went $2 billion over budget. When questioned about this $2 billion, uh, it's claimed that Denver has used this money to build underground bunkers to house the world's elite during a nuclear fallout or apocalypse. However, one question, Denver claims that it has been planning on developing a fully automated baggage system underneath the airport to better move baggage efficiently. However, this baggage system was terminated in September 2005 because they couldn't get it to work. So the mayor of Colorado uh, terminated this project and now no one really knows what the basement's used for. But many people think that there's underground tunnels there and bunkers that the world's elite are going to use soon in the future. So, this is a statue of a horse outside the Denver airport. Uh, it actually has an interesting story about when it was constructed because the sculptor uh, released him in it while he was sculpting the horse. A large portion of the horse fell on his leg, severing an artery and ultimately killing him. His sons would later go on to finish this horse, but Luis Jimenez would never get to see his finished product. Many think this horse represents evil and uh, demonic evil because it killed the original sculptor of the horse. However, it's supposed to represent Colorado's untamed nature and, yeah. So the creepy murals in the Denver airport. This is a mural that is in the Denver airport, and as you can see, it depicts a mass soldier striking down a dump of peace, and behind them are people, mothers and their child, pouring out great sadness over the destruction of their world. There are two more murals in the Denver airport. Right here on the left, you can see. So there's a big wall of fire burning behind them, representing the end of their dystopian world. And right here, they're all gathered, gathered uh, to celebrate, to honor the dead of what looks like to be a leopard. And right here, this looks all nice and peaceful, and it, uh, it's representing all the people getting together to celebrate harmony and peace with nature, which gives it the name, in peace and harmony with nature. So here's another conspiracy theory. Uh, it said that uh, the Freemasons have something to do with the airport. This is a capstone that is in the Denver airport. And as you can see right here, it says it is dedicated to the people of Colorado in 2094 and the New World Airport Commission. This is interesting because the New World Airport Commission does not actually exist. It's not a real thing. And many people think that in 2094, something like this is going to come up. And that is when the Denver Airport is going to become very important with its underground bunkers, supposedly. So 
In conclusion, my opinion is I don't really believe any of these conspiracy theories, and I think that the Denver Airport and all its things are just being blown out of proportion.